Welcome back to the weekend show here on Park City Television. As you can see, it's another epic day here at Park City, and there have been a lot of changes that have been made over the off season to improve this already fantastic ski area. And Bill Rock from Park City stopped by the Mountain Morning Show. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We're starting this off uh, this hour off right by inviting into our studio. Bill Rock is here. He's the chief operating officer at Park City Mountain. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to have you here. Yeah, thanks. It's an exciting time of year. Yeah. It really is, and it's uh, it, it's not exciting until the resorts are open. In my <laughs> mind, you know, it's just it's it's not the same thing. But finally, we've got a, we've got some snow. Things are looking up, and you guys are ready to open tomorrow. We are ready to open tomorrow. We've had great snow making. You know, the weather's been in our favor pretty much uh, this early winter, and uh, we're going to have fantastic conditions for opening. And we look forward to welcoming everybody. This is the undoubtedly the biggest year this resort has had in its history. How excited are you to, uh, to, to announce all the new offerings to, to get people to try them out for the first time? And of course, some of them coming online a little later. Sure. How, how stoked are you guys for this? This is incredible. Nobody gets an opportunity to transform a resort or create something new to have this 7,300 acres, the biggest resort in the United States. All the $50 million worth of projects are done. And now it's just a matter of connecting the dots with snow and we'll open them you know, as the season progresses. Everything will be open to showcase for Christmas week. Wow, that's yeah. a big Christmas present to Park City exactly. and to all the folks who love to come here from all over the world. And as I understand it, I've been talking with some realtors and different people out here in the other part of the market, the periphery, and they said bookings are through the roof, up you know 25 percent in some cases. That all in uh, direct relation, I think, to what's going on over there. This story about what we're doing in the resort and creating this one big thing and all the investment has really resonated around the world. Yeah. People are just excited about what's happened in Park City and, and we expect folks to come check it out. Wow. Yeah. So let's take take us through a little bit of what we can expect, especially for mm -hmm. tomorrow for the opening. Sure. Tomorrow, you know, we'll open with a pretty typical package for Park City. We'll have payday lift, we'll have first time lift and three kings, two terrain parks, home run, treasure hollow, uh, legacy lodge will be open. And uh, we'll get the season rolling. And um, with the weather that we see in the forecast, we'll be able to expand the offering very quickly. Uh, a week later, we'll open the canyon side. And, uh, and then hopefully by mid-December, we'll have the gondola connection, Miner's Camp restaurant, wow. and all the improvements ready to showcase. Oh, man. Yeah. So it's big. take us through some of the specifics, too. I, I want to start with, let's, let's stay over here for a moment over at Park City sure. and talk about that. So obviously, first chair folks are going to have a great time on payday. We know that. But talk to us about uh, you know, your favorite places to go, what you think is going to be the, you know, the, the things that really make the season epic. I think that the highlight on the Park City side this year there's really two maybe three we've done so much it's hard to narrow it right. down uh, mother load lift though for locals and and everyone who loves that terrain off of mother load mother load lift was upgraded from a fixed grip yep. triple to a detachable quad a lot so faster way faster and people can be able to ski a great terrain much quicker yeah so we're talking up and down a lot more often yeah exactly on some of the best terrain well everybody's favorite as you said that's yeah. really the best place over there in, yeah, in my mind yeah. all right so take us through some of the others what are some, you, you mentioned there's so many that we yeah. got time let's talk about all yeah. of it. how about okay, that good well miners camp miners Miners Camp is a restaurant that replaced Snow Hut. Okay. So Miners Camp is 17,600 square feet. It's 500 indoor seats. It's a beautiful building with a big glass wall. So the menu is really elevated. The quality of food is going to be fantastic. State-of-the-art kitchen wow. and servery. And uh, bathrooms on the first floor. <laughs> Finally. Most importantly. <laughs> so it's uh, it's a it's going to be an impressive building for people to see. Yeah, it'll be fun. No more tripping up and down the stairs if you don't exactly. have to. Exactly. All right. That sounds pretty great. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of food uh, are you are you uh, going to be serving there? You know, what's interesting, we've got a, a great culinary team. Our executive chef has put together great menu items across the whole, um, uh, all of our restaurants on Mountain. Sure. This, the um, Miner's Camp will have a, a Euro station, the Lamb station. Really? A Mediterranean station, which will be really Ooh. interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That's pretty fun. Yeah. You know, the thing uh, that we knew about Canyons is their food was off the charts. Yeah. I mean, that's something that you guys were doing so well with there. Yeah. Did you see that expand over to this side? Where, to be honest, the food wasn't where it needed to be. Now it is. Yeah, I think, you know, the facility certainly um, hampered that. But now with the yeah. renovation of Summit House and a new miners camp, elevating food across the board is something that I think guests will see everywhere. And uh, our executive chef is Alex Malmberg, who uh, was yeah. at Canyons. 
So he's awesome. Great guy. All right, so let's uh, let's continue on over to canyons for a minute. Let's talk about sure. some of the, your favorite things there. Two, see. two. Uh, well, the you know the the connection is my favorite thing. The connection yeah. with the gondola is just incredible. It's a quick uh, ride. Yeah, it's going to be eight and a half minutes. There's a mid station on Pinecone Ridge. People are going to be able to get out and ski down on Iron Mountain or ski in the Thanes Canyon. So that I mean that's the centerpiece of everything we've done. Uh, and cabins got loaded onto the onto the cable yesterday. <laughs> is that right? And uh, and so we're ready to go you, I, I kind of figure that most people are gonna get off that midpoint I think that just seems like a lot more fun you might as well ski into the other place it's beautiful and, and I think people get off just to take photos and, right uh, it's it, it's gonna be an iconic ride it's uh, this it's stunning scenery Wow. To go from one to the other. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about uh, some of the other improvements. What are what are some of the other things that you look at as being the things that people go back and talk about? I mean, obviously, we know the gondola is certainly going to sure. be the big one. But Well, I think on the canyon side, um, the big renovation of Red Pine Lodge. Right. For folks who've been there, it definitely needed more seats. So we... Um, totally renovated the building and changed the servery so there's 250 additional indoor wow. seats at Red Pine. People will notice that right away. Uh, we regraded Chicane. So Chicane is the trail that goes from Red Pine Lodge down to Tombstone. It got widened, regraded, um, and that was that's one of the most popular trails on the mountain, most traveled. And so that'll be a big, for people who I'll are say. familiar with it, they'll be like, oh, that's a big change. So, wow. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the party atmosphere at both of these places. Uh -huh. We know this year is pretty big for you guys. Can we expect to have, I mean, is it a party every day? <laughs> yeah, you know, we're, we kind of look at it as, you know, showcasing this new resort to the world every day. And so we'll have what we call animation, so bands or entertainment throughout both base areas all season long. And we'll start off with tomorrow. All right. Well, that part's going to be epic. Yeah. There's no doubt. Let's talk about the epic mix and all the things that you get as uh, an epic person. Yeah. Epic Mix is a great app, and so we've installed it across the whole resort now. So it was at Canyons. It'll be on the Park City side as well. And it's a great way to um, track your vertical, meet different challenges. On the Canyon side, you get free photos that you can share, right. share socially. And uh, our guests love it. I love it for my family to see how much my kids have skied and what lifts they skied, and I can ask right. them about it and also track them down if I need to. Well, and you have some award-winning photographers over there. In fact, you had one guy who won the national award for all of uh, Vail Resorts, uh, a good friend of mine, and he, he picked up the award for all of them. That's, that's saying something. You're going to get over there and get a nice family picture that you're going to want to put on the wall. Yeah, it's great. The Epic Mix photography is great. You know, that yeah. um, uh, they're there. You don't have to get your camera out. You don't have to get your smartphone out. You don't have right. to take your gloves off. And they'll po take a photo with your family all around the mountain on the canyon side. Yeah, that's really a lot of fun. And I think the tracking part of it, when you talk about a mountain with this kind of expanse, that's going to be a lot of fun to share with people. You see how much of it you're skiing. You can really make a deal out of that alone. Yeah, I mean, I think there's, uh, you know, there's 38 lifts, not including magic carpets. And right. imagine the amount of vertical you can get. I think it's, if you skied every lift, it'd be higher than Mount Everest. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so, that's interesting. You know, so I have yeah, thought of it could, like that. You try to do that with the Epic Mix app and see how you're doing. Yeah, if you, I wonder, have you calculated how long it would take to just, I mean, how many runs you have to make to make every run? You know, I haven't done that, but I'm personally <laughs> going to try to do that this year. I and, bet you uh, are. See what it takes. Well, you get some little competitors in your family to, to keep you going and make you do that. Exactly. Your kids are pretty excited about this, too. They are. My son's already been skiing in the backyard, so uh, <laughs> he's ready to get going. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. All yeah. right, so let's talk about one other part of this, probably the biggest element. We've got worldwide attention, as you know, yeah. coming to this place because of what you guys have done. But this is not to say that uh, that you don't have a lot of worldwide expanse for us to go and enjoy too. It yeah. goes the other way. Right. Talk about what we get if we're, you know, if we're the full season member and we've got everything. Yeah, Epic, you know, our, our Epic passes are incredible. Folks from around the world can ski. We sell passes in all 50 states and countries around the world and, and vice versa. We get to go to, I think people here in Utah are, are situated perfectly. Right. If you want to jump in your car and drive a few hours, you can be in Eagle County, Colorado at Vail and Beaver Creek in no time. Uh, and if Tahoe is having a great year, which they've already started off really strong with good snow this year, it's not too much to get over to Tahoe and you can use your Epic Pass at all the resorts. So um, it's really a unique offering as, and it's transformed the ski business. Yeah, I'll say it is. I mean, you consider the price. Yeah. You go skiing four, four times 
times you've paid for it. It's it's unreal. And yeah. then you can take it with you and go worldwide. Yeah, and, and we just added Perisher in um, Australia. We're really excited about that yeah, one. So folks can go to Australia in the summer with their Epic Pass. It's a little skiing. bit of a trip, but it's worth it. <laughs> summer worth skiing. It. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get much better than that. Definitely. All right, so lots of stuff happening, lots of excitement. Talk to me about what you expect opening day to be like. This is probably big, the, the biggest opening day that resort has ever had. Yeah, I think people are going to see a big change. First of all, we got new uniforms, so everyone will look yeah. uh, in these brand new uniforms. They look fantastic. Um, and, you know, little touches. We've painted the lift terminals and new signage and um, just the event itself. Really went to all the details. We did. We focused a lot on details, so hopefully people will see that. Speaking of uh, personnel, uh, you guys are fully set up for all the kinds of instructing that you could ever dream of and lots of places to do it. Yeah. Talk to me about uh, your instruction that's uh, being offered for this year yeah I think I think you know we've had great ski schools at, at both base areas in the past yeah. and creating one ski school gives an amazing opportunity someone who books a private lesson you know, this is a big exp expansive mountain it's 7300 acres and so to have a guide to help you take you through all of it you know hey how do I ski Jupiter how do I get out to 9990 how do I get the Condor and just take you through it a day or two will be uh, just a great opportunity for wow. our guests. Wow, that sounds pretty tremendous. Yeah. Well, I, man, I am so excited uh -huh. about all the things that are happening. Thanks. It is, no doubt, an epic year. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, for sure. Perfect. I want to thank you so very much for coming and sharing it with us. Anything that we, we haven't talked about that we should? Yeah, I'd say uh, if you're watching uh, Wake Up Park City, we're doing free coffee That's mugs right. at uh, several coffee shops around town today, and we're donating a dollar for every mug to uh, Mountain Trails. So, oh, that's nice. Yeah. We appreciate that. Awesome. And all the other stuff that uh, you guys have done a lot with your Epic Promise this year already. We can expect more of that, I'm sure. We have. You know, last year alone, we donated $1.4 million in this community in, in both cash and in kind for nonprofits. So uh, we're a big community supporter and proud to be part of the family here in Park City. Well, we're thrilled to have you be part awesome. of the family, too. Thanks so much for all being right. here on Park City Television. We're gonna